What is up guys? I've got another Mutt gameplay video here. I've got about one or two more recorded that I want to upload in the next week. Then after that I might switch over and play some breaks during the weekend. See if I can get a few gameplay videos out of that. So getting into this game here. He wants to run a lot of man blitzes and press out of it. Uh, personally that's not my style. I don't really like playing ultra aggressive defenses. My style is more bend don't break. Uh, let them move the ball down the field but play tight defense in the red zone uh, just very different philosophies on defense he's pretty much going blitz every single down as pretty much man every single down to you I think he throws in a few cover three zone blitzes here I'm going to run Y stick here he takes the back and flat I'm going to move the backside slant and I tried to rat catch that but it seemed to have triggered some type of taunting animation with Brandon Cooks there here I'm going to run 617. I'm going to put Waller on a slant and try and motion snap him and see if I can get him off the press. Uh, here I just get throw out sack animation. Could have probably gotten the first down out of it if I didn't get it. But unfortunately it happened. Here you're going to see he messes up with his user on his assignment. He has a man assignment on the running back there. But he doesn't take him out of the backfield and he tries to take away routes over the middle. Gives up a really big gain off of that. Here I'm going to check the Y stick. This time he's going to actually stick this assignment and take away the running back so I'm going to work the backside slant there. And this time I'm able to actually right catch it and get to the, into the end zone with a touchdown. All right, going back to what I was talking about on defense. You know, I prefer bend don't break but in this game you're going to see my defense pretty much break most drives as you're about to see what happened right here. This time it's a user error. I should have been able to get over the top of Metcalf there. And really also what I did with the show blitz kind of messed up the whole chuck animation that I should have gotten out of the cover 3 seam flat. Uh, I was trying to do the show blitz there to get it, uh, take away any potential crossers but you want it to be the play to be flipped there I messed up. What though? Really the weak side safety and cover three to come down and take away so he can get underneath the any crossers coming near the sideline otherwise he'd be over top of them here try and work some two back sets with Clyde Edwards Lair I replaced Adrian Peterson and tried to get Adrian uh, Edwards the layer in there uh, unfortunately he's just not that good of a back at this point in the year 83 speeds not gonna cut it. if I had a better back I probably could have gotten more yards of that angle route here, 4th and 7, Y corner. I really need to change how I handle 4th downs like that. I need to go for different plays besides Y corner. This doesn't give me enough routes past the first down marker there. Tried working the backslide slants, but Sneed got a really good animation and was able to jump the route and get the pick 6. Something like uh, 4 verticals, Y sail, Y cross are better options. Even shallow is a better option, I think, than white corner. There, I get a stack. I couldn't get anyone open in time. I might have been able to throw that fast out route. But, I don't know. I've had to have been throwing right on the break there. I tried to throw right on the break, but it's a little slow. Here, when you flip 617, it's called 619. So you have Z on the fade route and Y on the fast out route. There, I took away the fast out route and motion snapped into the other side of the field. And this is kind of the matchup I'm going to keep working for the remainder of the game is DK against uh, Jonathan Joseph. Uh, Jonathan Joseph cannot handle DK in press coverage like that. Uh, find a weakness in their team and just keep attacking it. Here, crossing routes and trying to take away anything over the middle with my user, but he's able to get the slant open late near the sideline. Here you're going to see my defense trying to play bend don't break. We don't give up any huge plays to this drive, but he just kind of marches down the field with ease, picking up first downs almost every single play. You know, that's kind of why I've started going for more onside kicks is people want to move the ball really well between the 20s. It's really once they get inside the 20 that uh, my defense steps up and is able to get some stops. So why give them extra yards of the field that they can drive down and potentially hit a huge play for a touchdown? You know, get them near the red zone where the field's condensed and my defense can play better and they don't have as much room to get people wide open. 
Here I'm trying to mess around a bit with user pass rushing. Uh, haven't really done it that much this year. I don't think it's that effective of a tactic, but it's hard to get pressure with the inside rushers without doing it. You, know, you don't really have any abilities to do it. From the outside you have edge threat, but the inside they don't have any abilities for interior pass rushers. I was able to get the bull rush win and flush Josh Allen out of the pocket and was able to get the pass to his receiver, but he's out of bounds there. Here I should have probably stopped user rushing at this point. He's kind of catching on to what I was doing. He's able to hit a slip screen for the touchdown. It's a good play call for based off of what I've been running the past few plays on defense. Here again, flip the play, 619. Tries to press DK again with Jonathan Joseph, which he can't do. Gives up another touchdown. I'm not sure why he doesn't have a second defense or any other adaptations to do it with it besides just keep blitzing out of that and try and play press man coverage C. Later on it looks like he tries to shade over the top and see a few times he'll go and move the Jonathan Joseph back off of a DK but he can't do that if I'm trying to quick snap him. He made his playoffs so he's not a completely terrible player but just didn't really know how to adapt on defense to stop that. He wanted to pretty much stick in his man blitz and not change at all, all game. Here he dumps it off to the back of the flat and, and gets the first down and second short. Inside zone, I'm able to get the tackle with Sam Mills. Here this is 6-1 or 6-1 is the formation on defense. I'm running quarters out of that. It's kind of my stretch and outside run defense right now. What you want to do is use the backside safety and just let the linebackers fill the gaps themselves. They do a pretty good job and pretty much stop stretch to the outside almost every time. They really aren't going to get more than a yard or two at most. Sometimes get them in the backfield. There, uh, fourth and inches, I was expecting the slip screen. He ran the slip screen and I was able to stuff him for a loss. Now we're down to 11 seconds and a half. Flip the play, 619. Uh, he decides to press again and doesn't do anything to protect over the top. And DK springs free for the touchdown. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Pull me a third time, and we'll just say the first two times didn't really count. That seems like the whole defensive philosophy he was living by there. He'd been beaten deep twice there, and he didn't do anything there to prevent it. So later in the game, he starts to try and move that cornerback off of DK, and he'll start doing some shade over the top as well. And I also put a safety in some uh, deep blue zone of points to try and provide help over the top in the second half. The first half he did not do a good job of preventing DK from getting big gains. There, he just tries to throw a last ditch play, but he has no chance of getting in the end zone. Here, onside kick, I don't trust my defense. And unfortunately, I don't get this kick because it doesn't go far enough. It's a poor kick on my part. And you're going to see on the next play why I don't trust my defense. Here, running two man under. Uh, the Mike linebacker has a run. Uh, he's manned up on the running back. I spy the D tackle over there. And unfortunately you get, uh, there's a man switch bug in the game. So the spy gets switched over to being the man on the running back and the Mike linebacker gets switched over to being the spy. There I kind of turned that into a fade stick concept with the slot on the fade and the outside guy playing the underneath route. And Waller on the stick. Going to run the same play to the other side of the field now. I messed up my hot route there. I meant to put Waller in a stick route. Just got to fix it there. Here I was probably being a bit too aggressive. I thought I had Cooks over the top, beat the over, beating them over the top, but I wasn't able to get out. I had both guys open underneath there and could have checked it down. I was just being too aggressive there and trying to force the ball down the field. Here's 617 again. Uh, 
That's just kind of a bad pass by Mahomes. The ball's thrown way too short. Should have gotten a lot more out of that. It should have been maybe like third and four instead of third and nine. You're six one seven again. Change that to slant. Uh, try and go deep, and I almost had DK. The pass gets broken up there by Sanders at the last moment. Sanders hadn't been there as a, in a deep blue. It probably would have gone for a touchdown. Uh, fourth and nine, I'm going to run Y sale and block my running back. Uh, he was using the play side of the field, so I went to work the backside, and the dig got open. I low passed that, and possession caught it. Here in fourth, the first time, run it again. Run Y sale again this time. The flat's open, so I take that. Here, running 617 again, put that guy on a slant. Just trying to get multiple routes crossing the field there in the middle. Again, kind of a poor pass by Mahomes, but this time it actually helps us out, and where it, he tries to click on and get a user tackle, but misses because of that, and I get a first down out of it. Here, full play at 619 now. Uh, put Waller on a slant, and here Mahomes gets hit right as he's throwing the ball and is slightly underthrown and gets picked. Really, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have put him on this Waller on that slant. Uh, he would have gotten open on that fast out route because the safety is playing off. That would have probably been a safer read and option to go to on that play. Here, you see another coverage bug. So I checked the palms. Palms has a special against trips where number or the quarter flat will take number two vertical. But you see, if you rewatch the play, 24, who's the quarter flat, was looking inside the whole time. He's shuffling around, flat-footed. He doesn't chase the number two vertical like he's in man coverage, which he should. And we get beat over the top because of that. It's another reason why. Go, just go for onside kicks. You can't trust your defense in this game. I don't know what Mahomes is doing. Apparently, you can't trust him either. It says accurate pass. The his pass leading to outside. I saw he was shading inside there, so I expected the whip route to have a good chance of getting open at the sideline. Fortunately, Mahomes just throws the ball up the field and to the inside, where the DB has a better chance to get the ball than the receiver. Here, third and one. I uh, run wide corner here. I'm going block my running back because it looks like he's about to use or blitz me off that edge, and he does. Corner route gets open. I'm able to complete the pass to Darren Waller. Usually I'm not a fan of blocking your running back. I prefer to have him out on route. I like having five people out on routes, but against heavy blitzes, sometimes you have to do it. I'd prefer to be able to just have five people while I was on routes and get the ball out quickly, but you know, with press man coverage, people get bumped sometimes, and other times you're just trying to get a route open slightly deeper down the field and you just don't trust your offensive line's ability to hold up or your quarterback's ability to get the ball off fast enough if you don't block the running back. I've gotten a few extreme cases where I do block seven people, but those are very rare cases. I haven't really done that this year. It's mostly Madden 20. Here I go for the onside kick and get it. I wanted to see some momentum there. I couldn't afford to just keep playing catch up every down and just tying him. Here, check the Y stick. There he peels off with his user so the back's open. Uh, he misses with his user. I get good downfield blocking and get a touchdown of that. So now we're back in the driver's seat with the lead. Went into that fourth quarter down seven. Now I've scored 14 unanswered. Your onside kick again because I don't want him uh, driving down the field taking the entire clock and scoring with no time left. I don't want to leave this game up to a coin flip in overtime because I don't trust my defense. I believe if he gets the ball first he's going to win. So if he's going to score here I want him to score fast and not take a lot of time off the clock driving down the, the field for 70 yards. I was trying to switch around and got stuck on a D lineman and wasn't able to make the tackle. Here again, inside zone. Had a lot of trouble stopping that this game. He's, he got pretty good push with his offensive line. Second like 
Tekken 7 slip screen. I'm ready for it. I uh, stuff him for a loss. Now he's third and 12. Make some hot routes. I believe I'm in cover six here. Uh, fortunately, he's able to complete the pass over the middle to DK Metcalf and pick up the first down. There, I just couldn't get over fast enough with my user to take away the back. I was able to make the tackle and prevent him from getting a touchdown, but I was unable to prevent the catch from being made. Here, I get over a lot faster with my user, take away the back in the flat, and Sam Mills should have really picked that off. Swats it instead. Here under center again, I'm expecting him to like stretch or toss the outside. And he does. Defense holds up really well. Here he's got nowhere to go with the football and takes a covered sack. Now he's down to fourth and goal from the 14 yard line. Down two scores, or down one score at this point. Here I run two man under again. There he throws in the coverage and gets picked. Fortunately he still has three timeouts left and so I'm still going to have to get a first down at some point. Here, this is a risky throw that I'm about to make. Almost gets housed for a minute, pick six. Harry just gets really good animation and swats that away. Not gonna do that again. Here, 619, uh, the out route's open, throw that underneath and pick up the first down. Here, place flip, 619 again. Uh, Decides to press there, and I'm going to snap it really quick after he pressed so he's not able to make adjustments and get any help over the top. And Metcalf scores another touchdown. It's fifth on the day. And that's going to be kind of the final nail in the coffin there. Down seven going into the fourth quarter. Scored 21 answered in the fourth. Here he's kind of just going to keep up some desperation passes into double coverage. Here he tries to roll out and get some slams past the first down marker, but he can't. He had it. Looks like his running back or tight end open there in the flat, but he didn't take the check down there. Really needs to be getting the ball almost to the end zone now, otherwise it's over for him. 4th and 14, one last desperation attempt for him. Uh, play action crossers, throws that ball up into coverage. I got to play volleyball for a moment and ball gets intercepted. That's the ball game. Going to just finish down here with a few kneel downs and that will be the end of the game. Kind of really, was that onside kick that really kind of swung the momentum back in my favor, I think. Being able to steal two possessions and grab the lead again in the fourth when I was playing catch up previously. Uh, defense just got torched that game. We too many uh, blown coverage assignments there. One by my user and two by, by the AI. Give up 21 points off of that. And we give up another seven off the pick six. There you see my home stats, 22 of 30, 582 yards, 7 touchdowns, 2 interceptions, 73% completion. Played a really well, good game there. The, the first interception was just a crazy animation. The second one, Mahomes got hit while he was throwing. Here, the only rushing attempts I had were Mahomes kneel down that game. He was stacking the box and I didn't have any opportunities to run the ball there. So there, I did a pretty good job of distributing the ball. Andre Johnson was kind of limited with only one catch. He's not that great against man. Uh, DK Metcalf, he had 352 yards, but he just did more with his touches. I think I targeted him like seven times that game. He had five catches out of it and five touchdowns. Defense, no one really did that much this game. We got two interceptions from Bell and James. Yeah, really all of those were covered sacks there. He had plenty of time. No one got a quick pass rush win on him. Yep, that's going to be the game. Peace.